This is the Electric Fields Homework questions 28 to 30. A repulsive force F acts between two positive point charges separated by a distance R. You are asked to find the force when each charge is doubled and the distance between them is halved. So in the first scenario we can consider the force to be F1 and using the equation from the data sheet we have Q1 Q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. We now want to work out the second force in terms of the first. So here you can see that I have doubled each of the charges and I have halved the separation, which must then be squared. This leads to a factor of 4 on the top of the fraction and a quarter on the bottom. The remaining terms, q1, q2 and 4 pi epsilon naught r squared are unchanged and equal f1. So here we end up with a factor of 16 times the original force. Next, uh, another question in a similar context. You have two point charges, x and y, and they exert a force F on each other when they are a distance D apart, as shown in the diagram. You are told that when the distance between them is 20 millimetres, the force exert that they exert on each other is half the original value when the separation was D. You need to use this information to find the value of the separation D. This time, since the charges do not change, I've chosen just to use the relationship that the force is inversely proportional to the separation squared. This means that the force between the charged particles is equal to a constant divided by the separation squared. If we take the first scenario, we could call that force F1, and in that situation, the separation is D, so I have got F1 is equal to a constant divided by D squared. Now I also know that the force in the second situation is half of the original, so F2 is F1 divided by 2, which leads to K divided by 2D squared. Now going back to the more general um, equation that the force is a constant divided by the separation squared gives me this expression. So F2 equals K divided by 20 squared, but I know it's also half of the value for F1, which is given by this expression. Putting the two together gives me an equation to solve in terms of D. So 2D squared is equal to 20 squared and that is therefore 400 and D is 14.1. Next we consider two protons and we know their separation is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 metres. You are asked to find how many times the electrostatic force is greater than the gravitational force. So using the formula booklet as suggested, you can look up the equation for the electrostatic force and the equation for the gravitational force. You can also find values for the two constants in these equations. So the ratio here we have is electrostatic force divided by gravitational force and then putting these two equations together leads us to this expression here. The um, R squared terms cancel and disappear. So then substituting in values from the data sheet gives you um, all of these numbers 
and just careful use of the calculator leads to a value of 1.2 times 10 to the 36.